Zaza caught heat for his behavior in 2017 for the Western Conference Finals right. against the Spurs in Game 1 with Kawhi and the physical play there, and, and Kawhi got hurt and Pop wasn't pleased. You were his assistant coach in Atlanta for three years. All right, when you see that <sighs> fall, what do you think? You'd rather have him on your team than not <laughs> because he's a heck of a player. He's a winning piece. Uh, but Zaza's one of those guys. If you're not with him, he's going to come after you. Okay. So from Donovan's perspective, you're the coach on the opposing team when that happens. Then what do you say? You got to sort that out on the court. That's what, I mean, this is the new NBA, I guess we talk about it. But, you know, you got to go out there and figure that out on yourself. The next time Zaza sets the screen on Russell, he should make sure Zaza understands, I don't take that. Okay. But that's how the game should be played. I think we make too much of it when we see little stuff like this. It makes for good TV, but old school basketball, those guys would have sorted that out a lot yeah, in but, their own but way. We live in a completely <laughs> different era, right? No, we know but that, listen, right? back in the day, they, they, they raised the fines for all of the physical play and, and if you got into altercation yeah. so that you wouldn't do it. But they raised the salaries. So, hey, if you really want to take a guy and, and handle your business, you can afford the fine. Is this where Steven Adams gets a <laughs> wink, wink here? Exactly, exactly right. Is, is that what it is? Anybody that's listening to this right now that's an old school basketball player knows that exactly what I'm saying. It's a wink, wink, and they handle it, and then it's over.